Unpacking, oh my god, understanding the phrase in English. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a phrase you've likely heard in countless movies, songs, and everyday conversations, oh my god. Whether you're learning English as a new speaker or just curious about the nuances of the language, understanding the context and use of this phrase is essential. Let's explore its meaning, variations, and appropriate usage together. Oh my God, is an exclamation that can express a wide range of emotions, from surprise and shock to excitement and distress. Traditionally, it is a phrase used to call upon a deity in times of need or when reacting to something unforeseen. While it has religious roots, today, it's often used secularly by people of various beliefs. In English, the tone and context in which you say something can completely change its meaning. Here are some ways, oh my god, is used in everyday language. Surprise, oh my god, you scared me. Excitement, oh my god, I can't believe I won. Disbelief, oh my god, is that really true? Disapproval, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. Compassion, oh my god, that's so sad. For those who prefer not to take the Lord's name in vain or are looking for less religiously charged expressions, there are variations. Phrases like, oh my gosh, or, oh my goodness, serve as gentle substitutes. Meanwhile, the internet has spawned playful abbreviations like OMG, which is widely recognized and used in digital communication. While, oh my god, is commonplace in media and conversation, it's important to be mindful of the setting and audience. In more religious communities or formal situations, using this phrase might be frowned upon, Always consider if the phrase is appropriate for the situation or if a more neutral exclamation would be better. When learning English, practicing phrases is key to mastering their use. However, with phrases that can carry cultural or religious weight, it's crucial to practice with caution. Observe how native speakers use the phrase in different situations, and don't be afraid to ask questions about its usage. Understanding, oh my god, is part of navigating the intricacies of the English language. Whether you use it in its traditional sense or as a modern expression of emotion, remember that context is key. We hope this video has enriched your understanding of English expressions, and as always, happy learning!